Murphy Instructional Series. Today you're watching Before the Groom. And what I want to do today is demonstrate a really intensive bathing and drying techniques. Um, this is Kelsey. She's our Westie. And I'm sure you, you probably recognize her if you have my Westie DVD. Uh, Kelsey is... Um, just picked her up. She hasn't been groomed for a couple of weeks. I think I groomed her about two or three weeks ago. She pretty much comes to me in this condition. She loves to be outside. She's always dirty and stringy. Um, and I'm going to show you how I go about getting her bathed and dried. This is Story. He's my little poodle that I'm sure you've seen in tips and, my Tips and Techniques DVD. Now, I've also let Story grow, and I have not washed him, um, I'm sorry, brushed him in about four weeks because I wanted to for you to see, this is exactly how our poodles come back to us after about four weeks. They're all curly and kinky and kind of packed down. Now, I, did, I do brush his, his top knot because I don't want that to get in his face and everything, but his tail, everything, I left, I left him just the way he, he is for about four weeks now. And I'm going to show you how I go about um, tackling this job. Okay, so the one thing I wanted to talk to you about is, is what do you pre-brush? What do you pre-clip? And that's a big um, question that I get all the time. And I technically throw everything right in the tub. Um, the only thing, because I'm mobile, the only thing that I pre-clip is my poodle faces and feet, my, um, my cocker, clipper work, their heads, their backs, my schnauzers, anything that I don't want to spend a lot of time drying in the mobile, because it's hard um, with the cockers especially. They don't like their faces forced dry and, and dry. It takes quite a lot of time to, to dry their faces. So I'll go ahead and and clipper their faces. Now, if you're in a shop situation and you want to just put them right in the tub, that's fine also. Uh, but the mobile's a little bit different that way. But normally, everything goes in the tub. Uh, the only thing that doesn't if it are my shave downs, and that really is a whole other topic that I have coming, down, um, coming out with a smooth road to shave downs. That DVD will be out shortly. And I'll talk about what I pre-clip and what I don't. Um, that gets a little more in detail. But for, for, for today, what we're going to discuss is um, what goes in the tub, what doesn't. Now, if a dog is really matted, or you're really matted and it has to be clipped down, then of course I'll go ahead and clip it first. If it's like story and it's just kind of packed down, I'll go ahead and, and bathe them. And the force dryer is going to really blow away and blow out a lot of these um, webbing tangles. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do story a little bit later. We're going to work on Kelsey first, and I'll show you exactly what I mean about that. Okay, so we'll let story come down here. Okay, now the first thing I do when I start my bath is you want to make sure your dogs are secure in the tub. Uh, you really want to tether them. They're very slippery when they're wet, so, um, and a lot of them will try to lunge out of the bathtub when the, when the water hits them. So make sure they're secure. Okay, the next thing I'll do is I'll put cotton in their ears. Now, when you've got a breed that has erect ears, like the Westie, it's very easy to get water in that ear canal. So make sure that you, you can tear your, I always buy the big jumbo cotton balls, and then you can break them up to the appropriate size. But go ahead and make sure you put that cotton way down, down into their ear nice and snug, because you really want to prevent any water. You don't want to contribute to any ear problems. So make sure you go ahead and, and do that. Okay, now let's um, talk a little bit about water temperature. For the dogs, body temperatures run about 100 to 102 for normal, which is a lot warmer than our body temperature. So you don't want to use a really warm bath. If you, if you notice and you put a dog in the tub and you use really warm water, they'll immediately start to pant. And um, it's just too warm for them, and they really can't handle it, and they become overheated. So you want a lukewarm, lukewarm to cool temperature for your, for your water. And remember, too, if a dog has skin irritations or hot spots, allergies where their feet are raw, you want to go a little cooler because just like if it were you and, and you had a sunburn or you had a cut and you get in the warm shower, it stings. And cool water feels better. So it's the same thing with the dogs. So really evaluate their skin and see what water temperature you want to use for them. Okay, as far as 